Hi, so today we're going to be taking a look at this CDR King AC adapter. Now this is 12 volts free amp and it came with a set of LED strip lights. Um, I never used it because I intended to connect these strips directly to a solar battery. Uh, so er earlier today I needed a 12 volt power source and I thought okay I'll use the CDR King uh, AC adapter. Plugged it in, bzzz, okay that's a bit weird, then it got a little bit louder and then I thought, ooh, that doesn't sound so good. Now, I could have just unplugged it and thrown it away, but I wanted to see what would happen. So I basically moved it somewhere safe and then, you know, moved away from it. And sure enough, after around two minutes, it went bang. So I'm assuming that at least one of the capacitors inside has blown. Now, the weird thing is it still continued to output 12 volts even after that. So I thought, okay, well, you know, I'll keep this cable and I cut off the end and you know I thought okay I'll keep this bit as well so that I've still got this nice barrel jack and a nice piece of wire and then I thought actually it would be more interesting to see what would happen if I continue to leave this to run so it's already gone bang but will it catch on fire will it explode I don't know what will happen it's still outputting power so I've trimmed the ends here and I'll just connect some um, so now just connect these crocodile clips and we'll hook it up to a voltmeter, uh, plug it into the wall, run away and see what happens. So I really have no idea. Now to make sure we don't get a short circuit, I'll just add some electrical tape. Although I don't think a short circuit is the biggest of our concerns at this point. Okay, so they're now safely apart from each other. I will connect the voltmeter. So I'm about to plug it in and I'm pretty much going to run away. Yikes! It's making noise. I'm around another wall now because there's no way I want to be near that thing if it goes bang. Here we go. It's going to go pop. Oh, I'm so glad I'm behind a wall right now. Here we go. Shit. <sighs> oh, shit. There we go. So, I don't know if you would have seen it, but you certainly would have heard it. It went pop. That was interesting. So there's no damage to the case, still looks fine. Let's try and tear this thing open and see what happened. This might take a while, so I'll probably end up putting this in fast motion, but I'm just gonna try and open this case. It's plastic welded, so they're always difficult to open. Oh, I don't think it is plastic welded, actually. I think it's just clipped together. Hmm. So... Look. That smells. Oh, that's hot. The heat sink is warm, but not too hot. Same on this side. Now, you can see that this capacitor, don't know how well you'll be able to see, I'll bring you a close up. You can see that capacitor's blown. The big cap here has not blown, as far as I can see. Let's bring that up a bit. I'm gonna be careful about where I touch in case any of this is still holding a charge, especially the caps. cap looks, this main cap, the cap here, looks to be okay. Two smaller caps have definitely blown, or at least one of them. Let's have a look inside this. Mm. 
now. Transformer looks to be okay. So interestingly, you can see that the fuse here is not blown. Um, and we can test that with my multimeter. Everything else looks to be okay. Just trying to have a look through here. There are some small caps, uh, ceramic caps. Yeah, just looks to be those two caps on the output side. There doesn't appear to be any other damage. I mean, it's hard to say. I'm only looking with my naked eye and mm, so there you go anyway there's not really much point behind this video I you know I just thought I'll, I'll plug it in and see what happens on camera because why not right I was curious if it's going to catch on fire or if it's really going to explode and break the case out um, but of course it didn't didn't do it either of those I know a lot of people um, they're not big fans of you know CDR King products Myself, you know, I like them, especially the solar products. I love them for solar products because they're pretty much selling the same stuff as everyone else, but much cheaper. And they're only solar panels anyway. Um, I don't buy my batteries from them, but they do sell deep cycle batteries. Uh, but yeah, maybe I'll think twice before I buy anything that plugs into the wall. Thanks for watching. Sorry if it's a bit of a boring video, but just something that happened and I figured I'd catch it on video. Um, there are a few components in here that I'll probably take out and keep. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe.